Hi, I'm Melissa Logan, and if you're looking for a full body 30 minute workout, I've got one for you and all you need is some space for the mat. If you have any questions about this workout, make sure you put them in the comments below. I answer those questions every single Sunday at 9 a.m. Pacific time. So if you're subscribed to this channel and you hit the notifications, you'll never miss my answers to your questions. Welcome to OnlinePilatesClasses.com, the most supportive Pilates loving community across the globe. Enjoy new weekly classes from our amazing teachers. Download the OnlinePilatesClasses.com app today. With this workout, what I want you to keep in mind is when in doubt, leave it out. If there's exercise that's not right for your practice, you're not at that level yet, do not stress about it. Do not judge yourself or shame yourself. Instead, repeat the exercise with something we've already done. Every Pilates exercise is compounding. And as this workout continues, the exercises will get more complicated. But if you repeat once from the beginning, you're going to eventually be able to do all of these exercises in your own time. It's something that I love to help people do. So with that said, let's start getting into our body. Heels together, toes apart, close your eyes. Notice where you stand in your feet. I'm leaning to the left. <laughs> so it's kind of funny. Close your eyes. You kind of like understand it. Notice where you're leaning. So I'm leaning to the left. So I have to like shift my weight to the right, which feels a little awkward, but then I can be more even across my feet, right? Then notice if your booty is sticking out or tucking under. Okay. And then notice where your shoulders are. Are they pinching together? Are they rounding forward? Is it really hard for you to stand up really tall? Take that with you and then put your hands behind your head. We're going to start to align some things. So interlace your hands behind your head. Push your head into your hands, your hands into your head. Hug your outer hips in. So it's kind of like a little bit of a squeeze, right? And then you'll lift your heels up, 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 up as you stand on the balls of your feet. And then you'll lower your heels down. And again, you'll lift your heels up, 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 and you'll lower them down. So as those heels come up, we're not trying to lock our ankles out. It's not a calf raise. We are simply trying to levitate. So our heels are gonna elevate up away from the floor with our tailbone reaching down, and then they're gonna push down. So we're not going front to back. We're just going straight up and straight down. So from the side, it's like doot, 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 doot. <laughs> you're levitating. So you should get a lot of inner thigh, a lot of outer hip and maybe some stomach. When you're pushing your head into your hands, your hands into your head, you're working those neck muscles in the back. So that's gonna pull your head back over your shoulders. All right, now take those heels together, toes apart. Heels stay down, arms up to the sky, round forward. Ah, oh, it's a standing roll up and then roll up. So I would love, if you have a wall, stand with a wall behind you. The goal is that we do not lock our knees out and push our butt back. We're just going up and over and up and up and up and over and up and up. Oh, one more time, up and over and up and up. Whew. Okay, we'll come back to those at the end. So here we go. Stand at the front of your mat, cross one ankle over one knee, one hand over the other, and lower yourself down. If that's not a possibility for you, just get down on the ground. <laughs> All right, here we go. I love to start off with some options. You can always repeat if you need it. So come onto your forearms. This is the elbow slip. All of these exercises we have tutorials on, so please feel free to look at the individual tutorial if you want more information. Slide one hand forward, pull it back. Slide the other hand forward, pull it back. And again, reach and reach. We're just squeezing those legs together, pushing those feet down and reaching one arm and then the other arm. And then both arms are gonna go forward and pull back. So the tailbone's gonna reach to the heels and pull it back for three and two and one. Grab your legs. All right, we're gonna roll back and round up with those shoulders dropping out of those ears. So this is our half roll back. You can make it harder by bringing the arms forward. So at onlinepliesclasses.com, we believe it is brave and courageous to replace an exercise you can't do with one that you can. And sometimes it's repeating an exercise a few times throughout a workout and that's okay. All right, if you want me to look at your form, I can if you're an OPC member. Bring your knees into your chest, lie onto your back. All right, here we go. Shake your head right to left. Bring those hands underneath your pelvis, it's easier, or behind your head is harder for footwork. Heels together, toes apart, reach those legs out, and pull those knees in. Now, as the legs go out, if your chest goes with your legs, then we're losing the opposition, right? So we need those lower ribs to pull down, and our head to push into our hands, our upper back is working, while the legs go out and in, and our lower abs and glutes are working. Last two, last one, 
and in. I promise you full body, you're gonna get it. Straighten the legs out on the mat. If it's hard for you to have your legs straight out on the mat, you can bend the knees and pull the feet towards you to engage the back of the legs, okay? Here we go, arms by your ears. Notice if your arms go all the way back, if your ribs kind of like stick out like a rooster. <laughs> can you pull those low ribs down and bring those arms up to the level of your ears? <sighs> okay, now we're gonna stay here. You can leave the legs down, it's easier, or you're gonna lift your legs up and that's a little harder. You'll pump your arms vigorously for your 100. Feel free to lift your legs higher if you need to. Inhale for five pumps and exhale for five pumps. <laughs> If you have to set your head down, keep the pumps going, lower the legs as well, all right? Or take them up to the ceiling. <sighs> I love the 100 because it really helps us drop in, gets our, our, our head into our bodies. Like if, if before this, your mind was wandering about all the things you had to do in this moment, <laughs> you can really feel yourself. And what's easy about this exercise and what's hard. Last cycle of breathing in, and out, lower everything down. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Today I felt so much more obliques and glutes. Whew, I love it. Every day is a new day. Take your arms up overhead. Remember how low they can go with your low ribs engaged. And then come up and over your legs and pulse. One, two, three. Place a strap if you have one around your feet. I told you no props are needed. So if you don't have a mat with a strap and then you don't use one, <laughs> right? But I'll show you what it's like to use one. You're gonna have to squeeze your outer hips in more than you think if you don't have a strap. So at the hardest part, squeeze those outer hips in. So that's gonna get you some glutes and some hamstrings and some lower abs, right? If you, um, if you have a strap, that doesn't mean you get to hang off of it. It's not like a, it's not, <laughs> it's not like a little cheat sheet, <laughs> right? We want to use our muscles to help us. So the more you can squeeze your outer hips in, the easier the roll up gets. If you're like, Leslie, I can't do this. That's what the half roll up was for or the elbow slip. Great option for you. You can also just come part way down and then come all the way up, right? Those little pulses add an extra stretch and extra abdominal work. So use them. All right. Take one leg up to the sky, arms down by your side. If you do have handles on your mat, you can put your handles, hands into your handles and reach up, right? Not everyone does, so arms can be down by the side. You want your shoulders to be nice and flat. We take this leg up to the sky. We cross the leg across our body, circle around and up. So the single leg circle, five of these, and then we'll switch direction. Now for some people, you're doing single leg ovals. <laughs> so they're low and they're not coming up nearly as high. And that's okay. Why would you do one versus the other? Well, ideally we're going all the way up, switch legs. But if that means you hike your hip or you have a hip click, then I want you to do ovals so you can get more hamstring, more glute. Pushing down into the heel of the other leg. I know, I promise you full body, when you push down into that heel, you get hamstring glute. All right, come on up to sitting rolling like a ball. So you can grab behind your legs here. If your knees are okay, you're gonna grab at the front of your ankles. And if you want it to be a little harder, you can do elbows on the knees. So here we go. With the hands on the ankles, I'm gonna show you this one first. Push your shins into your hands. Your hands pull on your shins from your back. So it should feel like a nice row here. Rock back and up and back and up. Now, if you wanna do some Oh, it's the harder version. The elbows go on the knees. Now, this is not how Joseph Pilates did it, but I like this one to reveal where you may be losing your abdominals. So some people will lose their elbows on their knees on the way up. That's your upper abs. Or they'll lose their knees on the way back, and that's your lower abs. All right, one knee in, one leg out. Pull yourself down, and you'll pull, pull, switch. Pull, pull. This is called single leg stretch. It's one of the ab series exercises. It's so good for working the upper back and stretching the hips. Both knees into your chest for double leg stretch. We'll take a break after this. Reach the arms up by the ears, circle around. And again, reach and circle and reach. So if you're loving this, Definitely make sure you're subscribed, but every single week on onlineplayersclasses.com, we drop a new 30-minute mat class, and you can try it out at onlineplayersclasses.com slash YouTube. Grab one leg. Oh, I promised you a break. Hold on. <laughs> Let's look both ways. Okay. 
break is over. Single straight leg stretch. So you grab up as high as you can on the leg. If all you can do is here at your knee, try to go below it or above it, but try to get all the way up there, pull on this leg two times and switch. So again, not a bicep curl, upper back row, other leg is reaching away with the hamstring and glute turning on. Both hands behind your head, push the legs away and lift them up. So dropping those shoulders out of the ears and lift. This double straight leg stretch is not a swing of the legs. You're pushing your legs down into some imaginary spring and you're pulling those legs up from your center. All right, crisscross. We're gonna take a quick moment, shake our head side to side. The more advanced we get, the less breaks we need. Lift your head and chest back up. Remember those hands are interlaced. One knee in, one leg out, curl up and twist to one side and then up and over to the other side. So the up and over is key. If you're really wanting to get your obliques to work here, you've got to keep your head and chest up, which means upper abs are working, right? And then the legs are being controlled by the glutes and the lower abs. Last time each side and sit up. Too often I see people throw that exercise away. And so, cause it's easy to, right? People call it bicycle and they just go side to side. We lose out on the good stuff. So sit up for your spine stretch forward digging those heels down. If it's hard for you to sit with your legs up straight, you can bend those knees a little bit or you can elevate your hips a little bit on something. But I want you to try for me today. If you dig your heels down and you squeeze your glutes, do you feel how you get a little more space here? Yeah, it's helpful to get out of those hip flexors. Then hands between the legs round forward and pulse one, two, three. Inhale, sit tall and dig those heels and round forward and pulse one, two, three, inhale, sit nice and tall. And again, round forward and one, two, three, and lift it up last time. <clears throat> you can stick with this. This exercise and the next exercise are almost the same, right? So if that was difficult for you, keep playing. You can also go into rolling like a ball like we did earlier, or what you're gonna do is open leg rocker with me. You're gonna take your hands on the front of your ankles and you're gonna give me the straightest version of your legs that you can. So for some it's bent, but for some it's straight. But I want you to definitely have a straight elbows. So you can look like this or like this, but not like this, <laughs> okay? Here we go. Lift up really tall. And then you're just gonna do that rolling like a ball with straight legs. So I told you at the beginning of class, the more deeper into class we get, the more complex the exercises get, but from the ones we've already done. So this is a straight leg version of the rolling like a ball, right? It is a rocking version of your spine stretch forward. Squeeze the legs together, open and close. And I love to share that with you because it's important that you get to be curious about how these exercises work for your body. Last time, walk your hands down the legs and lie on your back for corkscrew. Corkscrew is just a two-legged version of single leg circles. So you did this earlier and you can repeat that again. You can do three times each side or both legs are gonna go up. You can have your hands underneath your hips if you need a little more support. Otherwise you circle the legs down, around and up. So how low can those legs go before you arch your back? We don't wanna arch the back. We wanna work the inner thighs here, outer hips, but then we also have our upper back working to anchor us into this mat as we do three circles in each direction. <sighs> I love, I love doing a full body workout. It means we don't have to remember which parts of our body we skipped <laughs> the next time we work out. Take your legs a little wider than your mat, okay? Arms wide to the side, dig those heels down, and then notice if you're leaning forward. So sometimes we're sitting behind our sit bones and sometimes we're sitting in front. We wanna sit right on top of them. And then as we twist to the right, our left hip needs to stay where it was. So pull it back. Round forward and pulse one, two, three. Roll up in the twist and unwind. So remember crisscross? This is our crisscross, just sitting up. So we have our obliques working and we have to stay in the twist as we roll up and then we unwind in the center, lift nice and tall and twist and reach. And roll up and unwind in the center one more time each side. Okay, now that we've done all this stuff to really wake up our front body and our center and some of our glutes, we are going to flip onto our stomach for a swan. 
So I'm gonna show you a swan prep, just in case you are new to extension, and then we'll make this harder. But if you think you're advanced, then this should be difficult. So reach your pubic bone down to the mat, pull your shoulders out of the ears, push your feet down, and then double check that they're not turned out. We want them to be parallel. And then lift your hands, head and chest up, and lower down. Now I just pushed my stomach down to do that, so I cheated a little bit. So I've gotta to try to keep my frontal hip points lifting up so that the extension goes up into my upper back. Our lower back already knows how to extend. We need the upper back to do it. One more, hold it. Lift the inner thighs and hamstrings up, reach your tailbone longer. So your whole back body should be working. It's kind of like the opposite of what we did for the 100. Do you feel that? And then come back down. Now you can stick with that or take your hands underneath your shoulders and then push your hands into the mat, pull your heart forward, and then lower it back down. And again, push and lower. One more time, push and lower. Now, next level up, if you're ready to go with me, we're gonna do a little drop catch. So we're gonna push up, shoot the arms out, put the hands down. Shoot the arms out, put the hands down. Three, two, one, sit back, head towards your knees, reach for your feet, lift your waist. And then come out onto your forearms for your single leg kick. So now with our forearms up, we can find that extension that might have been a challenge for us on our swan. You're gonna kick two times, set it down, and then kick two times. And again, kick, kick. Now as those kicks happen, if you find yourself bouncing your body, then we are losing the opposition. So you wanna feel your hip points pulling up and away, and the kicks don't have to be heel to seat. It's gotta be like a hamstring curl. Last time. All right, go ahead and stand up on your shins. So from the front, it will look like this. You're about a fist distance apart, squeezing your legs together. Then, what you'll do is take your arms up to the sky, lower those arms down as you lean back, and lift them up, okay? If you can't be on your knees, lying on your back and doing a shoulder bridge is a great replacement. Something for everyone. So you should feel the arms connecting to the back, creating a nice upper back, tall spine, really working our posture. Your core is strong because we don't wanna go into extension. And then your inner thighs, hamstrings, and glutes are strengthening while you stretch the front of your thighs, which is quite nice, <laughs> right? I think it's nice. Okay, so let's do that shoulder bridge. We'll meet some of you where you just were, if you were skipping the thigh stretch. We're gonna add on. So you could just lift the hips up and down with your feet in line with your <laughs> sits bones or you can take your hips up and hold them up. Stand so much on your left foot, you can slide your right foot out, point the foot, lift it up, and flex the foot, lower it down. And point and lift, and flex and lower. And point and lift, flex and lower, slide the foot back. And then the other one goes up, and it flexes down. And it goes up, and it flexes down. It goes up and it flexes down, and then we roll up to sitting. Woo, fun. Isn't it fun to see how they all work together so your whole body gets worked? I agree. <laughs> so now sitting up nice and tall with your legs together, this is a spine twist. A Little harder than the saw, reach those arms nice and wide from your upper back, squeeze your legs together so you should feel your glutes working. Twist to the right and hold. Twist a little bit more, and a little bit more and a little bit more and come to center. And then to the left, twist a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more and center. So we're not pulsing. We go as far as we can with our upper body, not our head. Then a little more and then a little more. Oh, what's your favorite twist so far? This is mine. <laughs> this is mine. Oh. There's an advancement of the single leg circles we didn't do today because it's definitely a more advanced class. And that might be my second favorite because it does that a twist element last time. All right, let's lie on our side for our sidekick. So Pilates is one thing that may basically no other fitness regimen does. It works your side bodies a lot. And while we've done a ton of that working on our back and on our front, this is time we're gonna isolate it. So elbow in line with your shoulder, in line with your hips at the back edge of the mat, feet to the front edge of your mat. They can actually be off the mat even, okay? You wanna give yourself some space. Now, it's really easy for the hips to tip forward or tip back. So just 
take your hand and reach and make sure your top hip is directly over your bottom hip. And then your waist, it's gonna depend on what your body shape is. We don't wanna be hiking this hip up and letting our spine sag down. So you wanna feel your spine lift up. And you're gonna kick your leg to the front for two and to the back for two. And front, front, and back, back. What do I mean by front, front? The leg comes forward, it goes back just a little bit, it comes forward. It goes back, comes forward a little bit, goes back. So we're not swinging this leg, right? We're pushing the bottom leg down so it's working, and then we're stretching the top leg to the front and to the back. Top leg over the bottom leg, turn it out, point it up, and flex it down. Point up, and flex it down. Point up, and flex it down. Take the leg back, and draw little circles back here. Little circles, just small ones. I know you wanna do big ones, we're just doing small ones. Tiny, tiny, tiny. And then top leg over the bottom leg, turn the leg in and out, Woo! in and out, like a little hip floss. Four, three, two, one, rest. Okay, you can hit your hip. You can place the knee in front, or you can take the knee up to the sky, you get a nice hip stretch here, and your hand reaches and grabs your ankle, and then the bottom leg lifts up and down eight times. Inner thighs. So we just worked a ton of outer hips. Now we're gonna inner thighs. We also got a lot in our obliques. All right, here we go. Flip over, other side. All right, so here we are, elbow, shoulders, hip, feet. Ready? Top hand here or behind your head. And we go, one, two. Now, your sides are gonna feel different, okay? For me, because my left side is kind of a weaker side, it's actually a little more challenging for me because I don't feel like I have a strong base. What do you feel between the different sides? Let me know in the comments below. <clears throat> Two more. <clears throat> Last one. And then top leg up and down. <sighs> Working that bottom leg. Then take the leg back. Reach it back there for those little circles. Tiny little ones. So your stomach so is still working because it's supporting your torso. If your shoulders were going front to back, front to back, it means we lost our center, okay? And then top leg over the bottom leg, turn it in and out. I told you the second side burns more. <laughs> You're doing great. We're almost done. Then bring that knee in and lower leg lifts. All right, so we only have a few minutes left to work out together. We're gonna bring through a ton of our extras we've already aced. All right, so the first one is gonna be a little teaser. So I'm gonna give you some options. We're gonna start with rolling like a ball and going into teaser, and then we'll go into a full teaser. So you're gonna get off at the teaser stop you want. So rolling like a ball, we did this before. You're gonna roll up, but this time you're gonna come up and reach your arms and legs forward. And again, roll back and come up. Now, if that's going well for you, hold it up, right? You're either gonna keep rolling like a ball or you're gonna leave your legs there and roll your upper body down and your upper body up. Hello, roll up. So your legs are doing that double straight leg stretch and your upper body is doing that roll up. Now you're gonna hold it up there and your legs are truly gonna do the double straight leg stretch because you're gonna lower and lift the legs while your chest stays up like it did an open leg rocker. You think you can do more? I think so too. Everything goes down. <laughs> Everything comes up. So we're going from that 100 start position through the 100 up into an open leg rocker without grabbing our ankles. Last one, boom. I love sharing how the exercises work together. That's how I base all the classes at onlinepliesclasses.com because it's important that you become your own teacher. Lie on your stomach, swimming. Reach your tailbone long, spin your inner thighs up, and swim. Inhale and exhale. Just like we did on the swan prep, can you pull your pubic bone down and lift your frontal hip points away from the mat? I know, it feels like it didn't move, but that intention changes where the extension is. And rest. Sit back, head towards your knees. All right, reach yourself into a plank. Hold it. One leg is gonna lift up, point the foot, rock back, forward, switch, then switch legs. Right, so you're doing a little bit of a swimming leg here or that single straight leg stretch with the beginning of class while holding a plank. Last time. <sighs> and rest. Okay, table. So 
I'm gonna show you table and then we're gonna build it into a leg pull down, okay? So here, your hands are back. Elbows are gonna be slightly bent, especially for my hypermobile peeps. And then you're gonna lift your hips up, lower your hips down. <laughs> lift your hips up, lower it down. Harder, legs straight out. Lift the hips up, lower them down. Lift and lower. One more, hold. We're not gonna kick our legs up today unless you know how. And so we're just gonna think about it. We're just gonna stand on both legs, find our upper back strength. You're working your entire back body. Three, two, one, rest. Bend those knees and seal. Seal's just a little bit more of advanced um, rolling like a ball. So if you wanna go back to rolling like a ball, you can. You're gonna reach your hands down, grab your feet, beat three times. Rock back, can you balance behind your shoulders? One, two, three. And then again, one, two, three. So you're not resting on your neck, you're standing on those shoulders. And then you're lifting your hips up. So if your feet are getting away from you, that's gonna feel like you're losing control. <laughs> now, ideally you can roll up to standing. So you'll plant your feet and stand up. If that's not in your knees practice, <laughs> by all means, just get up. All right, one set of push-ups. Heels together, toes apart, lift your arms up. Circle them around, let the head hang down. Walk out one, two, three, four, three elbow bends. So elbows to the back of the room, three times. <clears throat> head in, walk your hands back towards your feet. Roll it up, as promised, a check-in. We're not done, so don't go anywhere. Heels together, toes apart, hands behind your head. <sighs> now lift your heels up and down. Do you feel like you have more control over the balls of your feet and your toes? What about those shoulders? Do they feel more loose? Does your center feel more engaged? <laughs> now take your hands up with your heels up and round forward. And roll up, squeeze those heels together. So at onlinepliesclasses.com, if you add a slash YouTube, you can actually trial out our membership. We have something for everybody. We have a mat only membership. We have a mat and reformer membership and we have a full studio membership. So you pick the one that has, that you have access to the most equipment and we actually check out your form. Come all the way up, one arm over the other, march with me. Meaning on here, I can't see what you're doing. So when you ask a question, I I have to make a guess as to what might be going on in your body because your body is different than my body. But at OPC, I can see a video of you doing the exercise. Take your legs to the side, nice turn out, then take them forward. And I can give you feedback for your form, specifically for you. We're the only platform that does it. We also have teachers who are all fully certified to the side again, all of them on all the equipment huge age range that are ready, heels together, toes apart, arms on my side to support you. Help you make time for yourself and your full practice. Close your eyes, feel where you're staying in your feet now. Oh my gosh, it's amazing how it's even. <laughs> I feel more even. If you don't, it's okay. It doesn't mean you didn't do it right. It just means we have more practice to do. So I hope you save this class. I hope you come back and join us. And I hope you check us out at OPC. I would love to support you in your practice, not only with giving you amazing workouts, but holding you accountable to showing up for you and also <laughs> giving you a proper and amazing community, support you in prioritizing yourself more. Thank you so much. If you had questions, drop them in the comments below. I will answer those questions on my next live on Sundays at 9 a.m. Pacific time. Have an amazing day.